problem one of the tear off. So problem one reads, let f of x be this function, x to the cosine x. Um, they want you to use logarithmic differentiation to find f prime x. And part b wants you to find the slope of the tangent line to f of x at x equals pi. So in order to do b, we need to do part a. Once we have part a, all we need to do is plug in pi for the x, and we'll get our slope m. Okay, so part a. So we need to take the derivative of this. Okay, what we want to do is, first of all, we know this is y equals x to the cosine x. Now what I'm going to do is introduce log to both sides, because I need to get rid of this cosine x, and I, bring, I need to bring it down to the bottom. So we have ln of y equals cosine x times ln of x. Take ln of both sides, take ln of this, take ln of this, and bring this down. There's the cosine times ln of x. Okay, now I'm going to use implicit differentiation. So this is 1 over y times y prime. That's equal to so the derivative of ln of y is 1 over y times y. So, yes. We're doing d dx of ln of y. And we're doing d dx of cosine x times ln of x. Okay, so then the derivative of this then is 1 over y and y prime. Here we got to use the uh, product rule since we have a function times another function. So if we do that, the derivative of cosine, that's minus sine x times ln of x plus, now the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x times cosine of x. Alright, so we want to find y prime, or f prime, so y prime then is equal to all this. Now, part b, find the slope. We know that f prime is m, is the slope. So pretty much this whole thing is the equation for the slope. All we need to do is plug in pi for x. So we know that m is equal to f prime of pi. So plug pi in here, we get minus sine pi ln pi plus cosine pi over pi and all of this times pi to the cosine pi. Okay, so then n is equal to sine of pi is zero. Zero times ln of pi, that's zero. So we have zero plus cosine of pi is negative one divided by pi cosine of pi is negative 1, therefore we have pi for the negative 1. Therefore, 0 plus this is just negative 1 over pi times pi to the negative 1. But pi to the negative 1 is 1 over pi, therefore this is negative 1 over pi times pi. Same basis, so add the exponents. It's negative 1 over pi squared. So therefore, n is equal to negative 1 divided by pi squared. So that would be your slope that they're looking for. Or the tangent, yeah, find the slope of the tangent line. So that's the slope. 